Here is 3D printed polymer blow mold tooling. Blow molds are usually steel. These are blow mold sections that PepsiCo uses to test new bottle designs. PepsiCo is innovating in the area of sustainability, creating new bottles that use less virgin material. An obstacle that stood in the way was the wait time for blow mold tooling. 3D printing is an answer, but you don't have to 3D print the whole mold. PepsiCo was able to produce just these sections that capture the bottle geometry. These were made on a high-speed photopolymer 3D printer from Nexa 3D. They use Henkel Loctite X-Peak material, and these sections go into a standard size blow mold shell, and that shell is made of steel. Uh, that hybrid tool results in a, a blow mold that can be created within 48 hours, uh, and a recent blow mold that PepsiCo made this way to test a new bottle, it produced 14,000 bottles, and it's still going. This is another example of 3D printed tooling for blow molding, this time in metals, but actually for the same customer. This is a mold insert for PepsiCo on display in the mantle booth. Uh, it was made by Westminster Tool, their, their customer. It was made using Mantle's true shape metal 3D printing process, which has really been optimized and designed for mold tooling. So rather than straight metal powder or wire, they are printing with a metal paste. It is a combination of metal powder and water, um, in this case, H13 tool steel. The paste is extruded in the printer. Um, there's a CNC mill inside that actually shapes it while it's still sort of malleable. And then the entire build platform comes out and goes into a sintering oven to be sintered to its final hardness and density. Uh, but because of that shaping step inside of the printer, the surface finish can come out very, very smooth, actually suitable to go straight into the molding process.